Okay, uh, this is uh, continuing the forum tutorial. Um, this will be our second step, which is logging in. From our previous tutorial, I did notice an error in the query. We we're trying to go here and echo row ID, but we've only selected username from the table. So I'm going ahead and add ID comma username. This way we will be able to select both fields. Okay, um, next part, like I said, we're going to create the, the login now. So I'm going to create a new file, PHP of course, and um, we're going to open and close our PHP tags. I define session start at the top, and I'm going to include the global file, just like so. Alright, um, I'm not really going to go uh, layout savvy on this, so I'm just going to create a simple form and a simple table that goes along with this. So, uh, if you've seen my other ones, we uh, may have done if post submit doesn't exist, so we're going to do that now. Alright. Uh, okay, first, second, or firstly, um, I'm actually going to check to see if the session UID exists. Then echo, you are already logged in, comma, if you wish to log out, comma, uh, comma, please a href, click here. Alright. Now we're going to supply an else statement, just like so. We're going to end this down here. Alright, and now um, on to this. We're going to echo the form here. So uh, I'm going to quickly do this, pause the video, and I'll see you in about a second. Okay, um, there we go. There's the form for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and test it out. So we're going to click login. Oh, I didn't save the file. <laughs> that would help. Login. Okay, we'll go ahead and refresh. That's what we have. So we're going to stay on that page for a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and create the actual PHP where they can log in. Okay, so after this if post to submit doesn't exist statement, we're going to add an else statement here. And uh, this is where we're going to define the, the variables uh, for the username and password that the user has submitted. So we're going to do, uh, actually, I'm going to save this. I'm going to go into global and create a function here. Function equals, we'll do MSS. Okay, and we'll do value. And we're going to do uh, return MySQL real escape string trim strip tags value. Just like so, save that, go into here. User equals MSS post username, that's what I did um, in the form. And pass equals MSS post password just like so um, alright actually we're gonna remove the protection from this because the password is md5 encrypted so therefore whether the password is incorrect or correct it's going to be encrypted as we go along so now we're just gonna do some simple error checking um, to see if it exists so um, if user and and pass, that means they do exist, then we'll do um, we'll do a MySQL query, select uh, ID from users, where username equals user, and we'll query that out. Oops, we'll go ahead and fix that in a minute. Okay, and then we'll do if MySQL num rows ref is greater than zero. This is basically telling us the username does exist. If it does, then we'll go ahead and create another query that'll select ID from users where username equals user and password equals MD5 pass just like so. Now we'll go ahead and query that out. 
MySQL query squall2 or die MySQL error. And now we'll go ahead and do if MySQL numrose rest2 is greater than zero. That means there is a combination that does exist. We're going to supply row equals MySQL fetch associ rest2, which will basically select the information for the specified field from the database. Now here we're going to set the session UID. It equals row ID. And we'll go ahead and um, echo you have successfully logged in as user. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add the else statements. So here, else echo username and password combination are incorrect. Now we'll go to this one, which ends here. Else echo the username you supplied does not exist. Alright, and we'll go ahead to this last one. And we'll do echo. You must supply both the username and password field. Just like so. We'll go ahead and save that. We'll go back to our login here. I'm going to put a nice simple title on this. So, uh, we'll go ahead. Echo title login like so refresh we have login on the top here login you must apply both the username and password field and uh, we're going to go into our users table and we'll see that we have Marcus and Lemonade I'm going to delete Lemonade actually because <laughs> I was testing something earlier I'm going to create a new account, so go back, register, username will do test, password test, confirm test, email equals admin at test.com, name equals test, aim equals test, register. You have successfully registered with the username test and password to test. Now we'll go ahead and use that as our example to log in. Test, and I'll do the wrong password, I'll do test1, login. Username and password combination are incorrect. Now we'll do the username Bob and password of Monkey. So say the username doesn't exist. And hopefully if we'll do it right. We'll, we'll log in as test. Successfully logged in as test. Now we'll go here. It should say we are already logged in. Simple as that. We'll go to our index. Welcome back test. And we can see it works just like that. That is uh, pretty simple to do and uh you know very easy to follow follow um and what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and make this a little neater and uh put a space after here all right and we'll go ahead and add um you oops user info a for link color number we will do, what color should we do? We'll do a nice maroon. And font. We'll do text decoration none. Alright, save it. We'll go back here. Now this will just turn to a red link. Um, we can, we'll do the log, log out as, as well right now. We're going to add a link. Uh, a her f equals log out all right save that we'll go here we'll have log out right there okay we're going to create a simple javascript function that will uh, tell the user whether or not they actually wish to log out so script language equals javascript okay function Confirm. Log out. Okay. Now we'll create a new variable called agree and confirm. Oh, I think that's correct. Okay. Now inside this, we will do uh, 
Are you sure you wish to log out? Okay. Now we'll do if agree, return true, else return, oops, well, return wrong, false. Hopefully this will work. Okay, let's go test it. Oh wait, we forgot to add the on-click event. So on this logout, on-click equals, oops, return, confirm logout. Okay, and we'll end that. Go ahead and refresh the page. When we click logout, so, oh, guess it didn't want to come up. Okay, let's try this again. This says let's, let's use a uh, more common syntax. So if agree, return true. Else, return false. We're gonna end this all with semicolons now. Save it, and we'll go ahead and test. Are you sure we're still log out? Hit cancel. Oops, doesn't want to do that. Um, okay. I've done this before, but you know I'm not the best with JavaScript here. Okay, as you can see, it's giving us an error. False is not defined. Okay, that makes sense. So we'll do lowercase these just in case. Return false, just like so. Logout cancel. It will not redirect us now. Now we hit OK. It will redirect us to logout. Okay, next we're going to create our logout page. So, um, control new PHP file. We need to call session start at the beginning, and we'll include our global file. Now we're going to check to see if session UID, that means it does exist. Um, we'll go ahead and do session destroy echo u have now logged out. If you wish to log, eh, forget that. We don't need that. They logged out. They confirmed it. Okay. And else, it doesn't exist. You uh, you must be logged in to log out. <laughs> okay. Tidy up. Okay. Save this as logout. We'll go ahead and refresh. Confirm it. Okay. Okay. File doesn't exist. It's global.php. There to go. Okay. We'll go back here. Ref okay. Well, it logged me out. So let's log back in. Test and test. Alright. On our login page, we're going to actually have a. Some of this says proceed to the forum index like so. Okay, save it. Go ahead and log out. Yes, I'm sure. You are now logged out. You have now logged out. We'll go back here. I'm going to log in on to mine. Marcus, I believe the password is Marcus. Okay, I actually don't know the password. So, um, don't know the password. Uh, okay, I don't know. We can try test. Not exactly sure. So I'm going ahead and re-register this account. So, um, register. We'll go Marcus password with Marcus. Marcus admin at neoblob.com. Marcus life goes on 666. Register. Okay. We'll go ahead and log in. Marcus, Marcus. Proceed to form index. There we have it. Okay, well, this ends uh, this tutorial. We successfully made the login and logout. Um, I guess you'll have to see what happens in the next tutorial. Um, so if you like this tutorial and wish to continue to see the rest of it as we progress,
please subscribe. You'll receive my videos as soon as I upload them. I really appreciate it if you rate it. And uh, if you comment, you can be sure you will receive a comment back from me, whether negative or positive. Um, this video will be in high definition, as I said in the first video. Um, well, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.